Hey guys, so it's that time of the week again. It is Medieval Monday. And so I did get some things accomplished this week. The first being I finished my shirt for the Medieval Fair. And it looks like this. It has elastic in a casing at the top and at the sleeves. And so it can be worn as an off the shoulder top or just um, like kind of a boat neck top. And so I really like it and it fits. And I made it using the Simplicity 2331 pattern. And it is really easy. So if you need a shirt for a costume or just a shirt to wear, uh, I recommend this pattern. And so this week I also got around to measuring Jeremiah and I started cutting out the pieces for his shirt. Also this week we found some awesome fabric that I'm going to use to make Jeremiah a doublet using Simplicity 4059. It is this right here. I'm going to be uh, making the doublet part but leaving off the decorative trims and things. And so here is a clip telling more about the fabric we found. My husband and I went to the uh, Habitat Renovation Station, which is a store where you can buy new and used building supplies for a really good price. And they often have things besides building supplies and this Wow, the lighting just really changed. Um, they have things other than building supplies sometimes, and so we happened to come across a huge box that had um, bolts of fabric for $2 a bolt. So for $2, I got this fabric right here, and the plan is to use this to make Jeremiah's doublet for the Medieval Fair. And um, there is a little over four yards on this. So for $2, um, this was probably originally like $13 a yard or something. So that is, um, I should never try to do math on camera, like $52 worth of fabric for two bucks. Um, and currently I have a, I cut off a strip <clears throat> that was four inches wide by the entire length. And I hand washed it and it's hanging to dry to see how the material acts to washing because it may be dry clean only. I don't know. There's not any information on the roll. Um, so I'm doing a test strip and if that goes well without um, any weird shrinkage like in odd directions or anything, um, then I will zigzag all the edges and wash all the fabric because it's probably been in like a garage or something for a while. I wanted to share that so you never know where you're going to come across fabric and um, you don't have to use it for what it's intended for. This was probably meant for um, curtains, pillows, decorator kind of things, um, but I am making a costume from it so and it doesn't matter. Use fabric for whatever you want to use it for. And since then I have actually um, Finished washing my test strip, dried it, ironed it, um, and decided that I was going to machine wash about half of what was on the roll. And so here it is. It it washed really well because I overlocked all the raw edges with a zigzag, um, which is actually something someone asked me this week on the Whitney So's Facebook page was how to wash uh, just purchased fabric um, without it unraveling, and I didn't have any trouble with it unraveling because I overlocked the edges. Um, I haven't ironed it yet, which is why it looks a little ripply. Um, but the same day that we bought the fabric, I got a crocodile for 40% off at Joann's, and so now I am back in business and hopefully can finish my corset using this and also use this to work on Jeremiah's doublet because it also laces up like a corset. Um, and that same day I also picked up 20 yards of interfacing. I'm so excited. Um, so anyway, I hope everyone's week is off to a great start. And don't forget to leave a comment and subscribe so that Thursday's tutorial will end up straight in your subscription box. And so I will see everyone later. Bye.